Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my shower and hair routine. Showering can sometimes be the ultimate form of self-care. If you've had a long day, the best way to make you feel better is by cleansing the negativity off your body. Since being in quarantine, I've had to find new ways to spice up my shower routine. There were days when I felt unmotivated to get out of bed, and showering seemed like a chore. In hopes of creating a more relaxing environment, I always like to light a candle and set the mood by changing the color of the lights, and of course playing my favorite feel-good music out loud on my Google Home. Doing simple things like dimming the lights can make your shower feel like more of an experience than a chore. Along with changing the atmosphere of the room, I also switch my shower products to ones that are good for me and the environment. I've been using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo, and I feel like it's brought my curls back to life. This body wash melts into my skin and smells delicious. It's called the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel, and it's incredible. It has notes of pistachio, vanilla, and salted caramel that leave you smelling warm and your skin soft and silky. For conditioner, I use the same brand as my shampoo. Its thick and creamy consistency leaves my hair feeling soft and looking shiny. I like to run it through my hair first before using my wet brush to detangle my hair. I find that this technique helps to deposit the conditioner evenly as well. I like to let it sit in my hair for at least five minutes, so I use this spare time to focus on my skin. For face wash, I use a pump of the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser on my Duval Spin Brush to gently remove any excess dirt or makeup residue on my skin. I love this brush because it's easy to use and does all the work for me. It comes with four interchangeable brush attachments, which includes the cleansing brush, an exfoliation brush, a large body brush, and a pumice stone. I believe that skincare shouldn't just be about your face, which is why this system includes brushes that take care of your entire body. If you're interested in getting a spin brush of your own, you can use the code ARAY for 70% off at checkout. But wait, I know times are tough and money might be a little tight right now. So I partnered up with my friends at Duval to host a giveaway so that one of you could win a complete spin care system free of charge. If you'd like to enter, there will be a list of rules in the description box for you to check out. I'll be randomly choosing a winner in a week, so best of luck to everyone who enters. When I do get the motivation to shave, I like to use this shaving cream because it smells really good and leaves my legs feeling hydrated. I used to skip the shaving cream step because I felt like it didn't do anything for me, but after I found this EOS shaving cream, I can definitely see a difference when I use it versus when I don't. I then take this time to rinse out the conditioner in my hair, and sadly, my shower routine is complete. I like to use the CeraVe moisturizing cream all over my body to lock in the hydration. My skin is especially dry in the winter time, so I can't skip this step. To keep my curls bouncy and healthy, I use the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. As you can tell, I really love this brand. I 100% recommend their products to anyone who has curly hair. They smell amazing, they're good for the environment, they're family owned, they're black owned, and they're affordable as well. So I just apply the product to my hair with my fingers, trying not to comb out any of the curls, and I just evenly distribute it throughout my hair. For some extra curl definition, I use this Cantu Coconut Curling Cream, focusing mostly on the front pieces of my hair, but also placing some on the curls that need a little extra help. Sometimes my hair decides to be curlier in some places and wavy in others, so I like to give it a little help by wrapping my hairs around my finger along with this curling cream. Then I take my towel or a clean t-shirt and I scrunch up my hair in an upward motion like this. Usually I like to let my hair air dry, but when it's late at night or I'm about to step out, I like to speed up the process with the blow dryer. I found that a lot of people with curly hair use this attachment head to dry their hair. So I started using it and I think it allows you to better control the amount of hair that you dry for a more precise style. So I just take one section of my hair at a time and I wrap it around the blow dryer head and I let it dry in a cool setting for about 20 to 35 seconds at a time. And I'll just continue doing this until all my hair is dry. 
So that is my shower and hair routine. Like I said earlier in the video, my shower routine has become an experience of its own and has added an element of self-care that I can do for myself on a daily basis. But that's it for this video. I hope that it brought you a sense of comfort or maybe inspiration on ways that you can level up your shower routine. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.